Kodichiwa, everyone, and welcome back to Imperial Japan. And oh, this is loud. Should be a little less loud. Okay. And yes, we're still just trying to hold on as much as possible. Should probably send somebody to help there. Yeah, definitely send somebody to help there. Are you going? Yes, you are. Good. We will not lose that province yet. Now, uh, how are things going in the air? Right, I need to remember about the air stuff. Don't want to lose in there. there da, da, da. You go down there. Very good. Do. How does it still say I have 150? Okay. Whoa. Okay. Works. Um, we also have people there. So we're gonna get nuked in southern Japan, right? Yeah, most likely. How are the estimates about the Chinese Air Force? Well, 5,000 more planes. Oh, lovely. They're doing peaceful rise, are they? Yeah, they're doing peaceful rise and Vietnam gets the parasol negotiations. Well, there's no Vietnam, so not sure how they're able to do that. Oh well. Still, that's better for us. It means they're wasting time on that and not doing anything that could be potentially dangerous for us. God knows they have many, many, many things that they can do that are dangerous to us. You, on the other hand, all of your close air supports are waiting around for this to be ready. Now, that's waiting on the naval battles. How are the naval battles going? Pretty okay. Looks like pretty much every place except the Yellow Sea is uh, quite well covered. How are things going for equipment? We still have a decent amount of infantry equipment to replace. But we should be able to do that. Uh, I mean, I am rebuilding my forts and my civilian factories as a priority. Of course, civilian factories rebuilding is important so that we can rebuild other things faster. Our superiority in the Philippines and in central Japan. Well, time to go and see what that's about. Okay. Now what about my aircraft stockpiles? I still have a plus of multi-rolls. That is very, very nice. And I still, of course, have a plus of attack aircraft. That's also pretty good. Now I could deploy more attack aircraft down here. I think I should do that. I should definitely do that. Doing low intensity, of course, so that we do not get our air, yeah, our aircraft killed in any particularly stupid way. Nope. Yeah, that. Okay. Good, 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 good. No more operations. Yes, that should add a few more close air supports to the fights and allow us to uh, deploy a little bit more ground support to our units. North Japan. Okay. Err, of course. Southern Japan. As always. Wait, no. What? Why? I also heard a nuke somewhere, but that's fine. Oh, they're invading me, or attempting to. Well, it's a, it's really not going to work for them. They don't have the divisions required. What about my fleet? Do you need them in your pairs? No, it seems like they're all pretty fine, which is good. My carriers are gaining some uh, good experience, as are my other ships. That's very nice. They're still constantly attacking us, and they're losing millions of troops at it, of course. 
Although they field about five five times as many as we do, so yeah. It's of course kind of an estimate about their fielded manpower, I'm guessing. Whoa, look at that estimated manpower. 85 million. They're definitely not running out of people anytime soon. But they are kind of running out of equipment, I see. So the attrition is finally starting to take its toll. It is taking its toll on both us and them, though. That is the downside. And I really do not want them being able to take care of that. Oh, look at that. Zero. What does that even mean? Wow, that is incredibly lucky. <laughs> we probably should have lost that. Just to be safe, let's build a secondary line of ports. So that we at least have something to fall back to in case our first line is breached. But something tells me that... Oh, yep. First line is breached, in fact. We need to send as many troops as possible to support there. Including this tank. We might be able to... Yep, we got there first. Very good. Very, very good. Now... Eh. How many enemies here? None. Good. Very nice. Uh, not very nice. Now, eventually our fighter production may reach high enough levels that we can actually, like, keep air superiority. And until then, I'm just gonna have to make do. Oh shit, that's not very good. Send the tank down there. Can't let the forts fall. Get back into fight. Oh, we might be able to stop them enough. Very good. Very good. The tanks really are what make the lines actually work. Because they can't pierce them. So if the tanks are there, then there's enough time for the other troops to arrive and reinforce. You're going to be there plinking away, right? Yeah, look at that. 0.40% damage on a missile cruiser. That is uh, pretty pathetic. And oh, we lost the destroyer. Actually, no, a Corvette. Wait, why is a Corvette in this fight? Does the convoy escort... Oh yeah, right, I have that secondary fleet doing the convoy escort down here. That's pretty fine. Well, okay, most of the line, despite some of the close calls, seems to be holding, partially thanks to our glorious system of reserves. However, we really need to get that infantry equipment production going. What is something that we do not need? Artillery, it seems like we do not need quite as much. So, there goes some extra factories on that um, infantry equipment production. That is going to definitely help. Oh wow, we lost six corvettes in that fight. Yeah, the corvettes really shouldn't get involved in the fighting with the enemy fleets, but oh well. Good, that would be a very good buff to have. I need some extra defense on our infantry. Definitely seems like a good investment. Wait, what? Oh, looks like our airfield got nuked. Yeah, definitely. Kyushu. Let's repair all of that. Especially the airfield, the military factories, the radar, and no civilian factories got killed in that. Interesting. Just checking for Japanese territory that got nuked that we can repair. Not seeing it though. Tohoku. Yes, definitely. What? Really? 
What? Look at that. It's a half air superiority there. That is insane. I had air superiority and I got nuked. AI, please. Don't be a cheater. Oh. Okay. Doing just fine there. Well, <laughs> depends on the definition of just fine. Let's do the carrier program. As long, to be completely honest, as long as this uh, stays under our air superiority and our troops don't get nuked, we're gonna be fine. That is really the main thing that we have to uh, we have to keep under our control. Really, that's not air superiority though. That's yellow. I guess that still means that they can nuke us though. Which is kind of annoying. Let's try shifting shifting things around a little bit more. Okay, here we are with their fleet again. They also have a missile cruiser, but they don't have the carriers, so they're gonna get clicked away eventually. If I had strategic bombers. I could try to um, strategic bomb their ports and airfields so that they can't launch attacks against us with ships and airplanes, but unfortunately that is not going to happen. Oh boy. Oh, really, boy. This could be pretty bad. Okay. Ship's still doing pretty well. What about enemy ship's present? Still a fair few. Now, about their navy. 314 estimated ships. That is quite a lot. Uh, what are you trying to do? Uh, you're trying to do... You're trying to unite Taiwan. If they do that, then that's okay. They might try to send troops there, which would mean that, well, we could potentially capture Taiwan, which would be an excellent base to um, assault mainland China with. And now we're full on those naval doctrines. Very good. Uh, about... Hmm. We can do Carrier 4, right? We can do Missile Cruiser 3. Yeah, let's do that. That's from the Cruiser program. Let's make sure we're focusing on the civilian factory repair side of things. So that we get more building power for the future. Now, are my close air supports even doing anything? Uh, enemy troops bombed. Well, they are, it seems. Yeah, okay. That's where we're coming in. Though it still seems like the amount of sorties that we're putting out really isn't quite as good as it could be. We're starting to take some losses. As you can see, our plane numbers are starting to get some uneven levels. Wait, what? Why do I have a close air support in the Mariana region? Oh, right, 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 right. I remember. He was doing that. Um, well, you can come back around to Southeast Asia. And then I also realized you're there. And that's an airfield that cannot do anything. So go in there and try to support. I think that the uh, naval bombers may be able to do some good damage compared to uh, the 
cast. The problem is the naval bombers have a storm. So our airplanes can't really do anything. Damn it. Well units, really. Oh. Um, well, not like I have much of a choice. Just to play them in Japan. Do it once though, please. I don't really want to exhaust my supplies a little bit too hard by doing that. Come on, are you doing damages? This doesn't look like it. Why are you not doing your sorties? Uh, naval attack, naval targeting. It might be the naval targeting. What about your naval targeting? Well, it's about the same, so I'm not sure why you can do it and he cannot. Oh well. Oh shit. Um, you go help there, and you go help there. There we are. Extra divisions. Going into the reserves. Uh, I should probably also repair the infrastructure, right, in Tonkin. That is pretty much a priority. Where is Tonkin's infrastructure? It's a priority because that is... That plus the naval base. Am I repairing the naval bases? Do I even have to repair naval bases? No, it doesn't look like it. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, the reason is that that is the main reason we have supply problems. And that's causing attrition, which is causing us to lose lots and lots of equipment. As you can see, we've gone down a thousand more infantry equipment and some more mechanized as well from the last time we looked at that. That is, of course, pretty bad. Um, about the mechanized, we need to do something about that. And I reduced the close air support production, gain some more mechanized infantry production. Because we need to replace our losses in that field more than anything else, it seems. At least our fleet is doing fine. Okay. I just want a fight where they fight us straight up and we win. Problem is they're way too slippery. And right now we don't really have the naval bombers required to really sink them. Like we have naval bombers but they're not doing anything because it's just terrible weather. It's still October. Yeah, they're not doing sorties. They're not hitting the enemy. I'm guessing it's mostly just because of the terrible weather. Now, they're up to 2.5 million. So one more million losses since last time that we looked at that. That is really devastating for them, I think. What's more devastating than the manpower losses, though, are the equipment losses. As you can see, their equipment counts are slowly but surely dwindling. Now, ours are dwindling more than theirs because they have provinces that are right now technically being untouched by the fighting because we're on the defensive. They're on the offensive. So their provinces are not being hit with um, infrastructure damage, but our province is. That is really a big problem. Let's improve the soft attack because with the amount of infantry that they have, improving the soft attack seems like a surefire way to get some good things done. And also I noticed that we're not building any multi-rolls. That is absolutely terrible.
So infantry equipment, multi-role fighters, mechanized. We're also lacking in MBT production. For now, that is fine because we're not losing those as quickly as we are other things. In fact, I think I'm just going to cancel out some of these armor divisions. Because, well, I don't really need them anymore and I'd rather have the equipment to reinforce my actual frontline divisions with. Oh, that looks pretty bad. Okay, you're all moving there to reinforce. Very nice. Uh, are you moving there to reinforce? You might be too slow, actually. You're very, very slow, definitely. Oh, and the aircraft situation is still annoying as hell. Oh, really now? You're trying to do that. Oh, that was a good battle. So we sunk seven destroyers. Or rather, seven frigates. And we lost three frigates. Oh, three destroyers and two frigates. Well, it said that they were losing more. Hmm, I wonder why. You detach and repair. There's their fleet again. Let's take all the naval bombers possible and send them in to help out. More armor. Good. Ooh, that's that's dangerous. Send the tank there. Really now. You got the wrong fleet there. Okay, good. Here comes the actual fleet. That's still a pretty ridiculous dance that we've been doing with the Chinese Navy. What about the Chinese Air Force? Oh, really now? Okay, so they're bringing in tons of bombers there. They don't really have a lot there, though. So you can be sent down to support. Okay, so we've got some pretty hefty damage going up. We're not repairing it near fast enough, so after this carrier program is finished, I'm going to pump down the uh, construction repair <clears throat> continuous focus, because I absolutely need uh, that to be the case. I could try to go for total mobilization, but I don't think that would sit too well with my recruitable manpower. Yeah, three percent would uh, decrease that by about sixty. <clears throat> no, hold on. Well, it would decrease it by about half. Wait, what? Oh, that decreases decreases population by five percent. Wow, that's even more than I thought. So it would go down to zero. Essentially. Oh, they did break through. Nah, don't don't counterattack, that's pretty worthless. Just let them do their thing. Uh, you did not build the forts. Yeah, that's not good. You absolutely should have built those forts. 100% should have built those forts. That is potentially very bad.
Let's reduce that. Bring the reserves closer to the front line. Still, I'm wearing down their divisions quite a bit. So that is good. And here, they should also be taking even more damage from my close air supports than normal. Oh wow, they actually have a thousand enemy fighters there. That is not good. They're losing some of them. Uh, the reason they're going to be losing even more from our close air supports is that I'm thinking that they're going to be taking attrition because they're technically in the air zone now. Oh damn it, I clicked away that naval battle result. I probably shouldn't have. More naval invasions. Oh wait. They naval invaded down in West Papua. Not sure how that is actually possible, since they never had naval control over this slice. So I'm not sure how they snuck troops past the naval blockade. That is a little bit ridiculous to be completely honest. Still have 25 damaged mill factories, that's kind of annoying. Okay, they're still constantly attacking, but looks like they're not going to have any success in breaking through. Yeah, no divisions is basic craning. I wonder why. <laughs> I really wonder why. What? Where did you nuke? I don't see where the nuke landed this time. I really don't. It might be Kyushu though, as everything here seems to be pretty destroyed. And nukes are just so goddamn annoying. They're honestly one of the most annoying things in Hearts of Iron. Where is this? I... What? What? Look at that. 146 to 0. How are they getting nukes off? Alright, because our airfield's gone. So they weren't actually flying any missions. Uh... Ridiculous. Okay, I think we must send the marines in at this point. We need some way to distract them. And I'm going to switch this to convoy escort as well so that they actually defend the convoys as a main priority. Like for example here, as you can see the convoys were coming in and they were trying to uh, intercept them. Of course they smartly divided their damn fleets. So yeah, all these divisions are going to die. Wait, what? You're not doing the convoy escort. What? Oh, you are. And it's not working. Yeah, this is going to take forever. And it looks like even Macau has a pretty strong navy supporting. So yes, a couple convoys go down before the fleet shows up. Okay, at least we got in. We got into uh, Guangzhou 1. Come on, do capture that before they get reinforcements there. This is going to confuse the hell out of the Chinese AI, hopefully. That's the point, anyway. Oh man. 
I just wish that my fleet was a little bit more efficient in jumping around the convoys to protect. Like, for example, this is a little bit ridiculous that they're trying to do that. Come on, you're about to get there. Good. They have a nuclear reactor down here. I don't know. Okay, you're going down there. So Hainan is going to be ours. Oh, there we are. Uh, oh, that's way too many divisions in Fuzhou. Need the support of the other naval invasion. But the other naval invasion is being caught up in some Chinese fleets. And they lost most of their strength, it seems. Yeah, I didn't expect them to put so many divisions in Fuzhou. Oh well, looks like that naval invasion is going to completely fail. Especially since our actual transports got hit really hard. And how the heck, how the heck did you lose that? No, like I'm seriously wondering how is it possible that they lost the port there? Doesn't really matter since I've got the other one, but still, that's a little ridiculous, to be completely honest. Just all go in there. They can't defeat you if there's like all of you in one place. Of course, this is Chinese air controlled territory. So I actually kind of know how. It's just their air superiority that's really, really annoying. Uh, what about you? Had a bunch of close air supports out here. I can put you there. And you'll support that, I think. Come on, are you getting air support? Yes, you are. Very good. We might capture Fuzhou yet. Come on. At least it's drawing in the Chinese Navy for my ships. It's unfortunately not really working out anyway. What the? F How? All oh, right, I noticed now only. I only now noticed that the damn plan was still in action. That's how. That's because it was using a plan, and so it was trying to constantly attack for no real reason. Okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. Oh, are you retreated? Well, that's the end of those four. That's the end of those four, unfortunately. Uh, factory repair, please. Or construction repair. Also, all of you should probably stop. Um... Yeah. Rip. Nothing we can do for these four at this point. Oh, hospital sub. What? Hospital funding. Um, also, we're not a federation. But yes, let's provide federal funds. Sure. Hospitals in the middle of a war. Yes. However, on the front lines, their troops are not doing well at all. They're actually doing really badly. Uh, as you can see, their strength bars are really, really down. That is because their equipment is just going down, and they can't replace it 
quick enough because they're just losing it so fast. That's despite the fact that their production is most likely very, very high. Okay. Now, all of you who are doing combo escort, go back to search and destroy now that we're not doing naval invasions anymore. So our naval invasion plan completely backfired and failed. Still have these four marines, but I get the feeling they're going to be pretty worthless at this point, so let's just disband them. So then we may keep these other eight well supplied. At this point, it's just a question of holding out. What about the air front? It seems like we're pretty well off at this point. So yes, I am actually going to end it right now. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I think for the next part, I'll skip to when we actually have a bit of a breakthrough happening or something a little bit more interesting. Because at this point, it's starting to get a little bit of a stalemate. Understandably so. And so I don't really want to bore you with like four more episodes of this and then something happens. So yes, I'll see you then.